Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today, new glasses. So, we are chatting about me having new glasses. This is a little bit of a belated clip as what I originally anticipated that once I collected my glasses that I would do a YouTube clip and I would show how I'm getting on with my new glasses and a little bit sort of of me with glasses and seeing how I was getting on. Um, of course, as we all know, life changes so very quickly and things happen. Um, and certainly something has incredibly happened. Um, my very best friend, my Alaskan Malamute, uh, sadly passed away and still very, very early days. And it's absolutely horrific. It physically hurts. Um, one of my pairs of my glasses, it sounds strange, but is um, really, really difficult for me to wear, actually. Um, I have two new pairs of glasses. Um, I'll explain in just a moment. But that's why this clip, hopefully you would have seen from my uh, channel that I done one getting new glasses uh, pretty recently. And the clip, I it had the new uh, optic scan for my uh, for my optic nerve in my um, my whole of my eye and expect service which went incredibly well and I was so astonished of the actual experience and the level of detail they can see and I believe now they can pick up things which can be caught up to four years earlier in advance which is incredible so I thought with all my health problems going on and sort of different health scares and things I've had I thought perfect to be able to jump in and to have that offered to me um, so that was a really great experience and something which I'm pleased I done everything thankfully was very very healthy and well um, um, and the glasses, yes, they were amazing choices. I was really taken back by the experience which was given to me at my local opticians um, at Specsavers. And they were really, really fantastic. A particular lady made the experience really amazing and picked out, helped me pick up glasses, which I wouldn't necessarily um, have. If you see my clip last time, you will know that I was really quite worried about having my eyes tested. Um, I hadn't had them tested. I can't quite remember now, but I think it was about maybe eight, nine years, and that was because of the deterioration with my hearing. I was always told that if anything had happened with my hearing, that this could reflect in my sight as well. So I'd always been very, very nervous. And to be honest with you, always worrying and having sort of regular hearing reviews and things for my hearing, it was quite difficult for me then to put myself in a situation to review my sight. What pushed me really, really towards and sort of that awakening, let's get your eyes tested, Bradley, was for a while I was having an issue. And I'd say I, maybe about two weeks, I had a couple of episodes where everything would sort of be really quite, um, I'd have a shadow across the top of my eyes. And sometimes it would be at the sides almost, but across the top, would it would be mainly my problem. Um a little bit headachy, but just feeling really quite dizzy, really quite unwell. But the tops of my eyes, like a horrible shadow, something which would kind of take over my sight. I could still see, of course, but it was really horrible and really quite worrying. So I had that a couple of times. And one particular occasion, I thought I was actually going to pass out and um, sort of had to take time, sit down and it passed, luckily. So that's what really pushed me then. OK, Bradley, you really need to get your eyes tested. So anybody who's worrying about getting their eyes tested and happens to come across my clip, I would say absolutely don't postpone it at all. Have your eyes tested regularly, especially now they have this new optic uh, scan, which can tell you problems. Possibly you may even have a family history of sight problems um, and anything they can pick up within four years in advance, which is just fantastic. OK, so let's go to my glasses. So let's have a look at them first of all. So my first pair is by Gantt and these are really very nice and for me, this was my sort of choice here. I, I knew I sort of wanted something with that sort of tortoise shell look and possibly like a, a metallic element as well. So these are the new ones, which I have got. As you can see, straight away, really, really like them. So they're by Gantz, really, really very nice indeed. Um, and I've actually had them shaped so they're comfortable behind my hearing aids. Yes, I wear hearing aids and I have a whole host of different hearing aids, which I wear from time to time. I have a Bicross system in at the moment um, and I do have uh, a cross system which is wireless um, but at the moment I'm sort of sometimes having a bit of an issue where um, I've had a few problems with sort of molds and things and issues with the hearing aids at the moment so very often I revert, I revert back to the cross system with the wire so glasses wise by Gantt this is like a tortoise shell sort of frame look 
and you've got like a metallic element here so it's gold which is really really nice and I really really love the look of them and for me I think they just really really complement me wearing hearing aids what I absolutely hate is the first thing when somebody sees me they see hearing aids so two things I always do have a really good sleek haircut with a, a sort of a nice arrow sort of shape towards the nape of my neck so people see the feature rather than the actual hearing aids if I'm wearing a wired system and again really nice glasses and it takes the eye off straight away I know of course it's all about confidence but it's being comfortable in yourself as well so it's not me being vain because that's not me at all it's me just feeling comfortable and I have to admit these glasses I paid for extra to have anti-glare on them as well and which I didn't on my last ones which I could where I do a lot of studying if you have watched my channel before I'm trained to be an accountant I do a lot of studying in finance and with lots of sort of numbers and sort of writing and things and even through being at work um, it's really good now to have that anti-glare and I wish I would have had it a long time ago actually whilst I even I was at school um, so it would have been really really great but really really love these hope you agree really really nice but however these aren't my favorite pair I'm going to show you my favorite pair now I'm going to take these off now so the reason why if we revert back to when I was at the start of the clip with having lost Sabre my Alaskan Malamalt um, when it was Friday when I collected the glasses and we lost Pooch on the Monday and I had come and collected my glasses on the Friday I came back um, in my family lounge uh, my parents were in the lounge and I, I tried them on and we have in the corner of the room uh, a chair and I sat down in the chair and in front of me was my puppy dog Sabe. I always call him a puppy dog, he was 12, but no matter anybody who knows who they have an animal, they're not an animal, they're not a dog or a cat, they are your family member. And that's why it's so damn difficult when you see that they're not around or even contemplating a life without them being around because they're part of everything. And I put my favourite pair of glasses on and I said to my mum and dad, what do you think? And as I said that, Sabre, who was in front of me, and he was looking towards my parents. So if you imagine, I'm sat in the chair, Sabre's sat in front, but he's not looking at me. His back is towards me, and my parents are on the sofa. Um, I said, what do you think? And with that, my puppy dog straight away lifted his head back and looked right back at me. And his eyes were just saying he had the most stunning eyes. It could just tell you a story. It really could. And that's just such a heartwarming moment. And, you know, since that's happened... I didn't really use my glasses over the weekend when I first got them and I'm, I struggle to put these on but they are my favourite pair so this is by uh, Lyle and Scott and they're lovely and this is with the assistant in actual spec savers in my local branch um, I would have never ever chose these first of all I wanted something a little bit different a couple of pairs I tried I thought they were nice but they weren't nice on me these are my favourite I think they're just me, where well, I'm sort of into that sort of a bit more of a traditional character, the sort of the, the circularness, the sort of the creating the feature on your face is just really, really lovely. And it's one of my favourites. As you can see, I really, really like that. So you've got the Lyle and Scott emblem here and you've got that really nice lighter than my other pair of sort of tortoise shell. Then you've got the gold small frame here. Then again, you've got the turtle sort of uh, um, turtle sort of tortoise, sorry shell effect here which is really really nice and of course small thin gold frame but much bigger and then you've got this sort of gold dark sort of gold metallic frame and when they're on because i've had them fitted as well behind my hearing aids they sit really really comfortably i didn't have that on my last two pairs of glasses and they are really really lovely they're comfortable they're me especially with slicked back hair like this i have to admit i love that sort of 1920s era with the sort of the side frame here as well being really really nice and i have to admit i will point out very often you'll see with my hearing aid i just leave my glasses up here but for comfort they actually sit behind my ears amazingly and i'm always quite worried do they make my ears stick out or anything but they sit behind perfectly let's do that here sit behind my ears perfectly and they look good again i've got the anti-glare on they look really really nice and amazing for when i'm doing my studying for when i'm doing sort of lots of reading with numbers and things like that amazing really really love them really really love them and i hope you agree they are really nice but however i don't want to lose that image Do you know i really don't want to lose that image of when of when saber looked back at me but through only just lost him honestly it's absolutely heartbreaking. By the way, if you can hear a noise outside, we're having some really bad, as a name, storm. It's been absolutely horrific, the weather, for about the last 
day, maybe just over a day now. Um, going back to that, so yeah, really love those glasses, struggle to wear them. I've had a couple of instances actually where I was needed my glasses but I just couldn't put them on. So I use the other ones, which I love, but my most comfortable ones is the Lion Scott ones, which we have just seen. Hmm. Does stress me out quite a bit, and I have to admit, um, I don't want to lose that, but at the moment, while it's still raw, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Glasses-wise, really, really pleased on them. So let's just compare them to my previous ones. So my ones which I would go to and wear all the time, they don't have anti-glare, so you may see a reflection. So these here are Jasper Conrad, and as you can see straight away, no anti-glare on these, by the way. So I have on my other two pairs, but on these I haven't. And they're lime green and navy blue, and my uniform was sort of the same colour, navy blue. So I'm in my last workplace. So really, really, it... It was brilliant, really matched, really good. These are my sort of go-to glasses. They're smaller in frame, but I like them. Do you know, I still like them. When this is sort of going on with Sabre at the moment, I would, and do you know, I say at the moment, do you know, I still think I'm going to go downstairs and it's going to be there. It's, it's just tough. Absolutely, it's really, really tough. These are my glasses, which I go to, and I still very much go to pick them up, and the others, because of that with Sabre, I... Tend to, tend to still go with these. They have no anti-glare on, as you can see. Can you see? Storing no anti-glare. And that's really annoying when you're doing a lot of uh, work on the laptop or computer or tablet or what, what have you. Um, so, yeah, that was a little bit of a downfall with them. But still like them. They weren't fitted behind my ears with hearing aids, so straight away I can feel that the other two pairs are much more comfortable behind my ears rather than these. But these are my Jasper Conrad glasses. Still really nice. But it's nice for a change because of the lime green on there as well. Then my other glasses... I know, so many pairs, <laughs> are, now I can't quite, the yeah, Osiris, yeah, I was just sort of thinking, I couldn't quite remember which brand these were, I didn't really wear these too much, um, really, really liked them, but the thing which I don't necessarily like so much, as you can see here, is these sort of like, sort of plastic sort of pieces here, which sit on your nose, it was a little bit uncomfortable on this pair, so I didn't really wear these too much, but however, I really liked the red feature, and I liked the spring, I've had a lot of compliments here with the spring, which is, again, really nice because when I did feel quite down, quite vulnerable with my hearing aids, if I wore these, people would see these being on quite light skin. You can see that this would be what you would see, first of all. And it was it was great. People could see this rather than my hearing aids. And you can probably tell I'm just so self-conscious. But I have to admit, really lovely glasses. And the nice thing about glasses is that you can always boost if you're a little bit sort of conscious about something you can boost it whereas with hearing aids they haven't really come on to the point where you can vary style color you can of course at a cost but to be honest with you i've had private hearing aids and i actually took them back because i did not get on with them for the cost it was absolutely pathetic cost um and the, the hearing aids i have now for my local nhs uh, service are brilliant they do they are really really well and i have several systems and they do work for me brilliantly as opposed to my expensive private pair which i had a few problems with and for me it was just a very much like an experience that you've got them now we've sold them to you sort of get on with them so it wasn't for me so glasses great for when you're not feeling so great within yourself or you're trying to boost yourself or you even want just a different fresh image that's what I wanted for me, and of course I wanted to address that health worry which I had with that sort of shadow across my eyes, and I picked some really, really lovely different glasses, which the assistant inspect savers in my local branch really helped me with. Um, these being my favourites, and I hope I can embrace that image of Saber, my puppy dog, my Malamute, who's seen with them on on that day, who's no longer here, bless him, and I hope I can sort of look at these and one day I can sort of feel that warmth rather than, oh my god, he's not here type thing. It's really sad, really awful, really awful. Okay, so glasses. I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I have, I have to admit, I really have. I love talking about Sabre, um, my Malamute, and really happy about my glasses, I have to admit. It's just getting everything into perspective, isn't it? And trying to get life in in sort of order for you to be able to move forward yet, which I'll be very honest, I'm not ready for that at the moment with losing him at all. My Malamute was my very best friend. So really, really tough, really tough. And 2020, that would have been the last thing I ever thought would have happened. Really was. Um, really enjoyed doing this clipping around glasses. So if you're having any questions in glasses or anything like that at all, have your eyes tested. That would be my first tip. Don't wait. 
never postpone that because it is your site, which now there are so many things they can do to pick up things early. Particularly, I believe, spec savers. Remember, I'm not representing anybody. This is on my personal choices, my personal review. And if you think I'd like to try something different, possibly ask somebody who works there. They know or they should know their stuff rather in relation to styles, what suits a certain character, what suits a certain face type they will have materials to them which will help you decide. So if you think you're looking for something, be open when you're looking for new glasses as well, because that's what helped me pick out my favourite pair by by while in Scott, the ones which I just had on. OK, thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.